Welcome to the Ghostly Woods, and I'm so glad to see everyone who came to join me on the walk. Finals, a word that evokes more stress among teenagers than the very concept of math. To be honest, I've never had any real problem taking finals or tests in general, despite, and this might anger many, I have never studied in my life. Nor do I ever intend to. And I still pass with a high grade. Generally, I find there are three main types of people when it comes to tests and finals. One, the constant studier and overachiever. Two, the person who doesn't care and doesn't study at all. Three, the one who only pays attention in class, and that is their studying. I tend to be somewhere in between a two and a three, which is why all of my friends hate me <laughs> during finals time, which I absolutely deserve. The majority of the people in my classes, though, are ones, which is good for their grades, but also just makes them stressed all of the time. So when final comes around, and my boredom is killing all of my brain cells since it's all just for studying time. They just have no tolerance for my usual antics. Which is fair, but they still, and my teachers included, should really stop encouraging me to study because I'll just make it worse. Uh, one time, though, in third grade, I just finished a standardized test for science. I was the first one done, by the way. And so I raised my hand to show I was done, but the teacher who was proctoring looked at me, and, and I kid you not, gave me a look of such disdain. I was like, did I just like, I don't know, murder her dog or something? She was not happy with me for no reason then made me sit for 20 minutes, at which point someone else had finished their test, and then she came around from their desk to mine to pick up my test. Which, by the way, it's not like I just wasn't turning my test in. She was supposed to come pick it up. Uh, she was super weird. I don't think I actually ever saw her again. Uh, I always have had a habit of speed running tests. And standardized tests especially, often uh, when I finish the proctor, always has this look that can only be attributed to surprised horror mixed with amusement. And don't get me wrong, this, vis this video isn't to brag or to like one-up my classmates who watch my videos. Hi guys. Uh, all of this is to say, how the heck do I pass my tests? Like, I legitimately walk up to the test expecting to fail, and I'm fine with that. Heck, usually I don't even know there's a test that day, or a final that day. Unless people have been talking it up nonstop. I just walk into the building, and I'm like, huh, people look stressed. Is there some some tests going on? And they're like, yes, this is this is the biggest test of the grade, the biggest test of the year. You you know this, right? And I'm like, oh, well then. <laughs> so like that that this has to be a fluke. Am I just rolling the dice and somehow getting it right every time? Uh. If someone has any ideas of how I am even remotely passing my classes and my finals and tests, put them in the comments. Uh, teachers who watch this, do absolutely tell me. I'd, I'd like to be completely roasted in the comments. Uh, anyway, wrong answers are preferred. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna set up camp for the night. I'll read your comments as I get them, and I'll see you in the next one. For those wondering why I made such a cheery video after such a terrible week, especially for the United States, it's ultimately because 
people need an escape, and I really just want to provide them a space for that. Uh, but, yeah. You know, 2021 has shaped- is shaping up to be quite interesting. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will continue my walk tomorrow, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you join me.